Hey, this is Russ. Yeah, I'm back out on the road again. It's way early in the morning today. It's only 7.14 a.m. Yeah, I've been up since five something. <laughs> what am I doing out so early? Well, the last couple days have been extremely uh, hot. Yeah, really hot. Today, it won't be so bad. It'll be about 85, 86, something like that. Gotta get through here. I think all the kids are going to school. They're all going to school. So anyway, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm out here early um, because it's uh, still relatively cool right now. Yeah, like I said, it won't be as hot today as it has been in the last several days, but it rained last night. It must come down pretty good because uh, the, the roads are still kind of wet. So what are we riding today? I am riding the Magicycle Deer 26-inch step-over model. Yeah, the green bike. <laughs> I think this was the first bike I had of some major color. Yeah, this was sent to me. Um, when was this sent to me? A little over a year and a half or so ago. I think, something like that. Yeah, it came in something like a December or, yeah, the end of a December, not last year, but the year before. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I can't stay too close to the edges of this road. I'm noticing a lot of tree branches are down. And of course, everything gets pushed to the sides. Of course, that's where they want bikes to be, but no way, I can't. I've gotta be, I've gotta be on the road with everybody. I'm not gonna run over all these branches. So, why are we taking this bike out today? Well, it may very well be one of the last times I ride this bike. <laughs> yeah, eventually this bike is gonna go away, for me. It's probably still available through Magicycle, but uh, yeah, this bike might be available. If you're interested in the Magicycle Deer 26 inch step over model that's greenish, it's called Neon Green. I named this bike Neon Green. Did I tell you guys that? I think I did. Um, it had a different name initially for the color. And I said, no way, that's not the right name for the color. This is Neon Green. And it got changed to the name Neon Green. So, yeah. Thanks to Magicycle. Yeah, they do listen to my input. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> So uh, why is this bike eventually going to be moved on? Well, there's a new Magic Cycle Deer coming out. Yeah, not quite yet, but they expect uh, they might be shipping by uh, September. Don't know when in September, but a new one will be sent off to me for review and evaluation. And so I've requested a um, Sierra Blue version in a step-through model. Yeah, <laughs> a little different. So, what are they doing to the bike? Well, we guessed it already. We guessed that uh, eventually these models might have uh, torque and cadence sensing. Yeah, that's what they're doing. It's a 2.0 version. Yeah, I kind of predicted it would happen. I just didn't want to say, you know, because they never told me for sure. And then now we see, yeah, it's available. Take a look on their website, you'll see it. I think, uh, I think sale prices will be around the $2,500 range, something like that. <clears throat> you know, this is a full suspension bike. Now there's nothing wrong with this particular bike. In fact, it's gonna be exactly the same bike, essentially, if you think about it. It has, um, cadence sensor on this bike so um, you know if you're one that is more into a cadence sensor and don't really need the torque sensor you're gonna be able to save some money on this bike that's for sure so I figured I would move this bike along to someone else so let's put it this way if you're interested in this bike send me an email yeah you can find my email on the uh, website I always reserve the emails really for business purposes, you know, rather than people always sending me emails. Uh, sometimes you have to, I know, you can't put it on a public forum, but if, uh, if it's more business oriented, I, I appreciate your email coming in for it. So if you're interested in the deer, 
step through 26 original versions in cadence sensing, this might be the bike for you. Okay. Oh, one more thing. There is another bike that's up uh, available. That was a police officer. I didn't say anything to him. I'm kind of right next to him. It's kind of hard to do that. So um, there's another bike up there, and that's the Hauchi Camel. That's the one with two two batteries, cargo bike, right? I have t I have another cargo bike too from Mooncool. I'm gonna hang on to the Mooncool one for a while, but uh, I don't need two cargo bikes, and we're running out of space, <laughs> as we always are. So if you're looking for that, that's on for under a thousand dollars. Yeah. Yeah, if you're looking for a cargo bike, even if you don't need a cargo bike, it's still a good bike. <laughs> Take a look at that one. That's again, you can see all these things up on the uh, russisright.com um, site. All right, nobody's moving, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> so uh, anyway. Um, Take a look at that one, and then this one eventually will be up there. I haven't decided on a pricing yet, but it'll be at a pretty good price. So if you're looking for a Magic Cycle bike, you don't really care too much about whether it has the uh, dual torque or cadence sensing. Perfectly fine bike to, to go with, okay? All right, so what are we talking about today? <clears throat> well, I decided to suspend the uh, Anything Goes Monday videos for the next couple of uh, next couple of weeks, and the reason is because I need to make some additional videos before I leave on my trip. So I'm gonna try to record uh, at least two videos every time I go out now for the next uh, week or so, because I'm leaving in about a week or something. Of course, by the time you see this video, you know days have gone by before you even see it, but. Uh, I've got to get those videos recorded, otherwise we won't have videos while I'm gone. So, uh, so yeah, just be aware, Monday's videos will be suspended for maybe the next two, three weeks, something like that. So I'm going to kind of incorporate stuff I would normally talk to you on Mondays along with the standard e-bike video things. Now, <clears throat> one of the reasons I took this bike out as well is because you know, it's a fat tire bike. It's got big knobby tires and everything. You can usually hear the noise on the, um, on the recordings. But I've noticed since moving to the new audio recorder, the background noises have been extremely loud. I don't know if you noticed that. I'm sure you have. So it tends to block my voice sometimes when we're going past traffic and the like. So I said, let me take this bike out because I know this bike, uh, that, that, Banksy, uh, that Banksy drawing is still there. Well, it's actually, it's an applique. I think it's not really a drawing or anything. So anyway, uh, that's the one with the, the one look with the monkeys and the birds, with a couple of hearts. Yeah, they've left it up there. I'm surprised uh, they didn't take it down or anything. <clears throat> so I took this bike out because I'm testing out the audio once again. Now, you may say, Russ, you talk so much about this audio thing. What's the big deal? And it's a big deal to me. You know, I'm kind of a perfectionist when it comes to sound and music and things like that. So um, <clears throat> here's what I'm doing. I'm recording in stereo right now, <laughs> all right? I've got two microphones on because I do have two, two mics with this particular uh, audio system. Got two mics on, one channel is set up without the noise reduction circuit that they have on this uh, transmitter. And the other channel is set up with, uh, with the noise reduction circuit on, okay? I've also restricted the low uh, frequencies on this recording. Now, what I have been doing in the last several recordings is I've been uh, reducing the low frequencies simply by equalizing it out and putting a rumble reducer uh, through the editing software. Oh, this guy's really changing out his uh, house. Yeah, a lot of construction going down there. So, uh, <laughs> so I figured, well, let me do it naturally through the transmitter and see what that does. Oh man, this, this place is really hacked up. Haven't been down here in a while. Wow, this thing's really hacked up. Uh, not a good thing to do come down. It looks like all the uh, sidewalk. Oh, no, actually, they're doing curb areas. Uh, okay, well, we're going to have to find another way to get back. I don't know if I want to come through this again. 
So one channel has been set up, uh, both channels have been set up with low cut filters on there, which basically means it redu reduces the bass response. Sometimes my voice can sound a little chesty sounding, so um, I figured I'd cut that out. And then one channel has been set up with the noise cancellation circuit, and the other channel is not with the noise cancellation circuit. I want to see, well I should say, I want to hear, does the noise cancellation circuit ruin the sound quality or not? If it doesn't, I may be using that in the future. So by doing two channels, I can pick one or the other. I'm not gonna combine them. I'm gonna pick one or the other. And what you're hearing now is my choice of whichever one I decided to do. I can't tell you what's running. I'll, I'll put a graphic up so that you know which one is actually the one we're listening to. Um, I have to hear it in post-production and during editing to find out if in fact uh, it's worth doing or not. So I decided I'm gonna come down this area because there's traffic here, which would be considered background noise, and uh, see if uh, the noise cancellation uh, helps and doesn't make my voice sound stupid. <laughs> So uh, you're not gonna hear uh, the other version. Uh, whatever one I decide to do is what we're gonna be listening to right now. But again, like I said, I, I don't know until during um, editing which one I will choose. But having the option of both at the same time will give me the option of making the choice, right? So I've got two mics on. They're both attached to the, uh, the strap of the, uh, the GoPro uh, chest mount. We'll get through here once this is all done. Now typically, uh, lately, what I've been doing as I come up to some of these major intersections is just cutting it out altogether, or either editing out that section or just not even talking as I go through it. And um, yeah, I don't wanna keep doing that. That's kind of a hassle. And who knows how many intersections I'll be crossing through. I, I mean, I ride streets quite a bit. So that background noise is, 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 uh, is a factor, right? <coughs> So I figured I'd take it out. Now, this is of course uh, early morning rush hour traffic. Everyone's getting to work. Not the best time of day to be go riding, you know, because you're, you're in the traffic with everybody. But uh, <clears throat> for testing purposes of this audio, yeah, we're gonna have to do it. All right, let's move. Move. All right, now last time we head down here, we were, uh, we were gonna go to the Pussy Woods. Remember that? And then we never made it there. <laughs> yeah, we never made it there. That's because, um, that's because I always uh, turn too late. I always go, should I turn here? Should I not turn here? I'm gonna turn early. I'm gonna turn early and then see if we can find uh, the right street. Because you know, if you don't do it right, you end up in roads you don't wanna take. So, uh, not gonna do that again. The only problem with coming out early is, of course, you know, as you're facing the sun, it's not that great for the camera. You get the sun hitting you in the eyes. It's just like right now, the sun is hitting me in the eye, so I'm sure the camera doesn't look too good either. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, the Deer 26, it's a big bike, I'll tell you that. Um, I have an inseam of about 30.5 to 31 inches, and I just barely cleared uh, the top tube. So if you're looking at this bike, step over version. Wonder if I should have turned there. <laughs> Maybe I should have. Um, Make sure you can clear this, okay? Make sure you have an inseam of at least that to be able to clear the top tube. All right, well, we're gonna keep going. If we, I mean, if we pass things up, we pass things up. It's no real big deal. I just uh, I figured we'd head towards there. Uh, let's try, try turning down this street. I 
think this is the street. It might be okay this time, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, the, the neighborhoods look familiar, so. Um, yeah, maybe not the best choice, but hey, okay, it's okay, whatever. We're just riding around today. We're not really gonna go to Bussy Woods. I just wanted to see if I was uh, heading in the right directions. Typically, I would take a left here. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna head back. Let's head back. All right, so we know for the future what we need to do. Okay, so what else has been new? <laughs> what else has been new since the last time I took the bike out? Well, um, see, we did a review. We did the uh, Magic Cycle CT1 review. I did another video after that, which um, <clears throat> I ended up scrapping. <laughs> and then I did another video after that, which I think would have came out on a Saturday for you. I think this video will probably come out on a Tuesday. Yeah, it'll be out on a Tuesday for you guys. So, yeah, so the wind we have coming through is not really any more than what's generated as you ride forward. And there's no like major wind blowing right now. Yeah, I always look at the trees. If I don't see any movement in the trees, well, that means there's not really much happening, right? The thing is, if we get out early enough, too, we don't hear all of the uh, lawn mowers going on. And technically, they think, I think the guys cutting grass aren't supposed to be able to do that until at least 8 o'clock in the morning. It's 7.31 right now. I'm going to head back. All right, let's go this way here. And um, so at least we, we eliminate that noise. So anyway, let me know what you think about the sound on this video. <laughs> I've been asking for opinions for, for quite a while now, but we've been changing uh, the audio a little bit. You know, when I first started this channel, I was debating how I was gonna record audio and video and everything. And you know, I had experimenting using the, uh, the point and shoot camera, the, can uh, the Canon G7X Mark II big heavy camera I mean I mean it's a point and shoot camera so it's not that big it's not like I'm using my DSLR camera or something like that but um, it's still bigger than what a GoPro would be this is prior to GoPro then I said you know what, what am I gonna do for the audio because the audio didn't sound too good you know just out of that camera I even used my cell phone a couple times just to see how that would look like then I remembered you know I do have the uh, the zoom H4N digital audio recorder. I said I could use that, but then I had to rig up uh, some type of microphone for it. So that's when I bought the uh, the Shure Lavalier mic. I had uh, done a bunch of research and found out that was one of the best uh, Lavalier mics I could get. And uh, listening to some videos from other people, I said, wow, that thing really cuts down the, uh, the wind noise. It's because it's got a big foam, um, windscreen on it. I mean, the lavalier mic is super small. I mean, super, super small, a couple of millimeters. And, uh, but that big round ball of a foam windscreen turned a lot of people off. But in my case, it didn't make a difference because I clip it to my helmet on the visor and then I snake the, uh, the cabling down it. And then I connect it to their transformer and it goes to the H4N, which sends 48 volts of uh, phantom power and the power of the mic. It's the only way you could use that mic. That's, most people didn't use it because they didn't have a recorder that would be able to power that thing up. But I had one. So we've been doing that for, for, hey, for years now, at least three years. And uh, audio has always been really good, and so uh, switching to this system, uh, 
I have a whole relearning process to try to make the sound better and better. And I think each time we do it, it does sound a little bit better. So, but you got to experiment with it. And there's a, the only way to do that is you got to take the bike out and experiment. Now, for you guys who are looking to start your own YouTube channel, you don't need to go to this extent. I mean, I I've spent a lot of money on the equipment, but that's just me. I mean, even like camera gear. Um, we only use one GoPro. It's probably the least expensive thing out of the whole system was the GoPro. <laughs> it's true. I spent more on audio and other things than anything, but um, <clears throat> it's kind of funny because as you know, I was a pro photographer for many years. You know, I shot weddings, shot portraits, shot crime scenes. <laughs> I've, shot, I've taught photography. I had my own school that I taught out of. We've got to move over here, but all these cars behind me are always in the way. I'll let these guys go first. I'll move to the left here. I've got to go through this construction thing for a while. Um, so I've spent a lot of money in cameras over the years. I think the last count it was over 40 something cameras I bought over my lifetime. You know, as a, as a pro photographer too, you don't just buy one camera, we buy multiple. You know, when I was shooting weddings, I had three cameras with me at all times. Eventually, I dropped down to two cameras. I found that I didn't really need three, but uh, you always have to have some backup. But the GoPro is the one thing I only bought one of. Yeah. So for the last, uh, well, almost three years, I guess, we've been using um, this GoPro Hero 10 they're on the verge of releasing a Hero 13. And I'm curious to see what that one is, but will I end up getting one? Probably not. <laughs> I will probably only get it if something happens to this GoPro Hero 10 or if there's issues that happen with it. And then I'll get one at that point. I've been looking also at uh, alternative action cameras and uh, the DJI camera, of course, comes to mind because that'll hook up easily with this uh, audio system, but that is Bluetooth to that camera. And my understanding is the, um, the Bluetooth is not actually the best way to do it, that the transmitter to the receiver actually sounds better if you do it that way. So even if I were to go to that system, I might still use the uh, receiver and uh, send the signal that way versus through Bluetooth. So there's, there's a lot of things to think about, okay? But again, for you guys who are just starting out uh, to record your rides, either because you want to be a YouTuber or you just want to record it for the sake of recording it, you don't, know, you don't need to go to this extent. But your quality, of course, will not match uh, some of the things that we do when we spend a lot of money on, on equipment. Let's slow down here, this guy's coming down really strong. See, look at this guy. He didn't even look. He's already making his right turn. If I would have kept going, he would have hit me. Some of these guys don't pay attention. Yeah, they don't pay attention. Now, he didn't have a stop sign, but you see it. You're coming into an intersection. You're the guy that needs to stop, not the guy that's in the road that you're turning into, right? So, yeah, you gotta watch out for these guys. You just don't know, you know, they have their own things going on they're not paying attention so <sighs> why is it that every time I'm in this general area there's always something happening it's like you know see the, look at this look at the street see the tire marks that's from that goofy guy that was uh, coming down here before and he was coming into my lane and he's screeching all over the place remember that one yeah that guy yeah you can still see his tire marks see it here then he made this turn over here Oh man, oh well. You ride the streets, you gotta be prepared. You don't know what's gonna happen. People will do things. And then you can always say, hey Russ, you, you pass through stop signs. I do, but I'm not gonna be crashing into people like, like, like a car crashing into a bike. I mean, that, there's a big difference. You know, and if I see people on the road, you know, I will stop. If I see cars on the road, uh, intersections, I will stop. But if there's nobody there, I will keep going. So. All right, anyways, so for you guys, <laughs> go back to that topic. For you guys who are getting into doing all this, uh, 
No, you could get a GoPro. If you do a GoPro um, and you don't want to buy a microphone system, you could do it. I mean, I've done videos where my audio recorder has died on me and I had to use the audio from the GoPro. But here's my suggestion is uh, get a dead cat filter for the two microphones for the GoPro. There's a, there's a microphone at the top of the GoPro and a microphone in the front of the GoPro. So you'll find a couple holes there. That's where the mics are, okay? Go get yourself some dead cat filters um, that um, it has like a double stick tape that's around the dead cat filter but open where the, where the hole is, okay? You know, where do you find stuff like that? Well, actually, I went on AliExpress.com and I just typed in Dead Cat Filter GoPro and I found it. Yeah. So what is AliExpress? Well, that's, uh, that's a Chinese uh, version of, uh, of Amazon, <laughs> okay? It's a Chinese version. You're going to be buying it from China, okay? So it's going to take a while to get it to you. But that is the cheapest place to get it, and they do have a lot of things available there that you might not be able to find like on Amazon. And it's gonna be cheaper, yeah. They, they always sell things a lot cheaper, and then even with the shipping, it's cheaper. So, and they give you a whole bunch of them too. They don't just sell you two. <laughs> they may give you like 10 of them, okay? So I've got enough to go around if something happens. So even though I have the media mod on the GoPro right now, that's how I'm able to plug in the external microphones. You have to have this extra accessory to it. It kind of covers up those mics. It turns off the mics anyway, right? So the way I do it now is I have one of the, um, one of the two microphones on inter internal recording. So it's actually recording um, directly on the transmitter. It has its own little chip that records onto it. And then the two transmitters are transmitting to the receiver in stereo. And now I'll be able to choose between three actual recordings of my voice to decide which is the best to do. Now the internal recording on the transmitter is a backup. That's in case something happens for the wireless. Like let's say you have some interference that messes up the audio. You have a backup audio that you could rely on. So I kind of like this system because I've got a backup, right? Now, my backup in the past was the GoPro. I would, I would have the GoPro recording the audio, but also my external digital recorder would also record the audio too. I would use the one from the digital recorder, but a couple times, several times actually, the digital recorder kind of failed for one reason or other, and I didn't get good audio from it. So I was forced to use the GoPro audio. And, um, you can hear yourself, but you know, you hear a lot of the background noises and everything is not as clear and you have to equalize it and all that. So um, it is some extra effort, but you can do it. I mean, if you wanted to just record your own uh, rides, here's my suggestion that you do. Get a, Co get a GoPro, okay? Buy, you don't have to buy the latest version. I mean, like even the Hero 12, which will soon be uh, superseded with the Hero 13, you can buy the Hero 12 for $100 less than normal because they always discount last year's model. I think you can still even buy the Hero 11. I think they still have a little bit available. I'm using the Hero 10. So it's not like those other models can't work because they can. I'm using one that's even older, right? I've got the, the 10 and it does perfectly fine. Get one of those, get the dead cat filter, put it on the microphone so you don't hear all the wind noise going on it. Get a chest mount, okay? Whether you buy the generic one from Amazon or you buy the actual GoPro chest mount. Chest mounts, I don't know. Uh, I think my GoPro one was like $25, $26 on sale, something like that. Get a chest mount, put it on your chest, and, uh, and record. Yeah. You could be your own YouTuber. <laughs> or, you know, create a YouTube account, put your stuff up there never advertise it to anybody and then just let your um, let your family and friends watch your uh, videos so there you go that's my advice to you all right anyway if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button hit the subscribe button let me know in the comments if you like the audio from this one this um, again uh, I don't know whether I'm going to be using the uh, uh, the one with the noise reduction or not, I have to listen to it, but I have a feeling I probably will. Let this car go first. <clears throat>
but again, the graphic would have been put up, you, you would have already known what we're using. All right, I'll talk to you guys next time.